right, finally, Friday, and that right there was the shit that makes your ears bleed and the stream that the FBI listens to, HacksRadio.com. Big shout out to the crew. It's time again, Friday edition of the Hacker News. It's all for the lulls. First headline up, uh, Nick Jew mass injection campaign target more than 2 million URLs. Uh, let's see here who was involved in this. Daniel Sid, an open source developer and information security professional, reported on Security Blog that their team tracked down a new mass SQL injection campaign that started earlier this month, and until now, more than 180,000 URLs have been compromised. Nick Jew is a mass SQL injection campaign targeting ASP slash ASP.net sites. At the time of the writing, Google had identified 361,000 pages affected with the JavaScript call, but the number was growing really fast. Uh, in this case, it adds to the following JavaScript to the compromised site. One more interesting fact that researchers have noticed is that nickju.com domain was registered on April 1, 2012, and in 18 days, more than 180,000 URLs got infected. Wonderful. Next up. Oh, good lord, it's always something, and now security concern, internet-enabled TV can be hacked. That's great. They love it. Uh, is your internet TV vulnerable to hackers? Internet TV could be the newest avenue for cyber criminals to infiltrate your home or business. Last year's researchers at Mokana, a security technology company in San Francisco, recently discovered that they could hack into a best-selling internet-ready HD TV model with unsettling ease. According to a new report from researcher NPD, InStar predicts that one million homes in North America and Western Europe will own television sets that blend traditional programs with Internet content by 2016. So, yeah, it's all the hackers that are doing this, not the government, so don't, don't worry about any of that. Okay, bullshit. Next up, pro-Tibetan activist becomes a victim of spear phishing. This sounds kind of medieval. What the hell's going on now? scroll down here. Hackers are ramping up their attacks against Tibetan activists and are using increasingly sophisticated techniques to deliver malware. An interesting example of such a malicious email has recently been spotted by FireEye researcher Alex Landstein, who is currently monitoring these spam campaigns. In the last few months, several security vendors have reported targeted attacks at distributed malware designed to steal confidential information from people or organizations supporting the Tibetan cause. This tactic recently resurfaced during the monitoring of Tibetan leveraging malware campaigns. It came in the form of bkdr underscore ryler dot server, a backdoor that arrives infected by pe underscore solidity dot ac. A simple spear phishing technique was used uh, recently to trick Tibetan activists into opening malicious PDF email attachments by quoting a legitimate email message sent by FireEyes Landstein to people who submitted Tibet-related malware samples to the various total online antivirus scanning service. And uh, a couple other things here in the Hacker News to tell you about. Uh, root to bitch version point one, multi-thread Linux, root password, brute forcer, released and when auto own uh, version 3.0 release system vulnerability exploitation framework if you want to know about any of that stuff just go to the hackernews.com enjoy your weekend we'll be back monday big shout out to hacks radio mr e the entire crew be safe much love see you monday